Hi out friends. Hello. We're about three days into Inktober at the moment and we're at a park. We are, it's a nice park. We'll be doing an Inktober sketch. My theme for this month is animals. There's no animals in this park at the moment, so I've saved a couple There's a pictures. Poach. There's a poacher the over park. there. Don't have my glasses on, I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I can try a very blurry dog. Happy Inktober. Happy Inktober. For Inktober, I've brought this sketchbook. I don't usually use this one for doodle notes. <laughs> Look at it, it just it's does not want to close. And the reason for that is because I tend to scrapbook kind of my drawings with this one. So I, I like cut them out and stick them in. You tend to stick them all in. Yeah, like pages, basically, like this. Um, I'll probably do like a video on my sketchbook at some point. Let me come and have a look. We had to see it a bit better. Oh, but yeah, currently because it's in October, I like to make a little ah, checklist of it yeah. all. There's day one. And here's my day one. And, and day, my day two. two. Last year was my <laughs> first Inktober, and that's what actually made me want to learn how to do traditional art in like the first place, because I didn't really touch traditional for six years, which is so bad. Yeah, here's... That was last year's one. And I completed it, so... Yeah. Yeah, it was meant to be Halloween themed, and yeah, it was all going so well until probably around here, and then it was just a couple of ladies. Like, I'll draw a ballerina instead. Anyway, let's get back to Inktober. Inktober! Yeah. need a new picture for here. <laughs> Some pages are like missing. <laughs> Look at that! There we go, I think we know. <laughs> Found it eventually. And with me, I brought um, a little folded up sleeve of cardboard with some... With a bug on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's a little cardboard sleeve and it's just got ordinary printer paper in and my phone so it doesn't blow away. <laughs> Art supply wise, I've just brought a really big handful of different types of inking things. Just because, other than the fact it's animals, I'm not really sticking to sort of a visual aesthetic. I just want to experiment. It's like I'm terrified to use all these as well. Inking is not my strong point. But yeah, we've got quite a few. It's just got a lot to be going on. <laughs> Brian supplies. <Nice. laughs> it's literally chucking it at me. So I've just come to the painful realization that I've only got um, references of zebras saved. There they are. <laughs> zebras are horses. Like guys, horses just... are like the hardest things ever to draw. <laughs> Why didn't I realize this? Basically, a stripy horse. Yeah. Kind of looks like a <laughs> Look at the donkey with a mohawk. <laughs> that's a very really cute one. And that's all I have so far. Oh, this is a big dog that's come to see us. Hello. Oh. <laughs> No. <laughs> Felt like a poke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The dog just poked you in the bum. <laughs> so I'll try and show you it. I mean, the stuff we got wasn't very good, but it wasn't it was... in focus because we weren't prepared for this dog to just suddenly appear. <laughs> this little dog. No. And in terms of this dreaded zebra horse thing at the moment, I've come to the conclusion that maybe if I put stripes on it, it'll look more like a zebra. So we'll see. <laughs> what are you drawing? A lady in a scarf because I want to be in the scarf it right now. It is so cold right now. <laughs> I'm just looking around to see people's hair but... Yeah. I've got hair, I'm sat next to you. I always draw your hair. just realised we've never actually mentioned in video before that me and Adam actually work as children's illustrators and yep. before coming here we went into a bookshop and we bought a few picture books for us. We don't have any children <laughs> or anything. <laughs> one of them is Granddad's Island. I've been after mm -hmm. this one for quite a while. And yeah. the princess and the pony. That one's awesome. I know. Hair's just right up. Right it's it's not doing what you want it to do. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally keep giving it such womanly legs. You can be a girl, zebra. I'm so cold. It's like my hands. I just want to do this. <laughs> You told me to wear light clothes because you said it. Hey, it was warmer earlier. That's what I'm going for. Are you ready to ink it yet? Um, well, uh, it's time to ink it. I don't know if I'm ready to ink it. <laughs> yeah, same. I'm about ready to ink it. Just not mentally. We're not going to argue over which tools we're going to use, are we? We usually do. We're good at that. <laughs> can, I have the, uh, can I have the brush pen? The brush pen, ooh, that's one of my favourites. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Okay, I need to decide what I'm gonna do 
brush pen's kind of like my default so I'm trying to avoid that a bit with Inktober. I might make myself use a fine liner because I don't like using these. It's not kind of like line wet fine liners. Have you already jumped in with inking? Yeah. Jeez, I'm just sat here talking. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's let's try this, I guess. Your hand's always in the way. I'm sorry. There we go. It's so rare I actually see you use the brush pen. Is that why you're recording it? Yeah. <laughs> and it's rare I do use it because I'm not pretty good. It's nice though because it's like really effortless to get line variations in it. That's the problem. <laughs> too much variation. You can never have too much line variation. Oh yes, you, you, you can, can when you're as heavy handed as me. <laughs> you're shaky I am. Yeah, that's something that takes a while to get used to. It does stop eventually. And if any of you guys are shaking with your hands and stuff as well, by like the end of Inktober I'm sure you'll have started to combat that. Oh, given up. <laughs> no, don't say that! <laughs> Follow your dreams, guys. <laughs> And I hope none of you actually do give up on Inktober as no, well. No, don't. I was only kidding. <laughs> don't, don't give up. Just, it's like one of those things that it's so frustrating to squeeze it into like your daily life, but you feel so rewarded for <laughs> it when you've actually is done it. My life. <laughs> <laughs> is that how you feel right now? No, it's not so bad. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Adam's been saying he's not sure if he's going to do all of Inktober, and I think he should be a role model for everyone who's watching this video. <laughs> I think everyone should stop watching. <laughs> <laughs> so if you know, if every day you could just like send him a comment saying, Adam, you can do this. I don't like using fine liners, but at least it's making me use something different. Maybe this will make me like fine, 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 fine liners. A bit more. What are you up to? Are you come to sit next to me? Yeah. Oh, that's so romantic. <laughs> Get it out of my face. <laughs> I do feel like we should probably hurry up because most people are leaving in the sky. It's getting really dark and everyone's like, see you. Oh, we get a few questions sometimes from people on our Instagram asking what this is. And it's a Pentel Aquash um, water brush pen is what it's called. And it's got a couple of drops of Indian ink in and then I just fill it up with water. Mm -hmm. And then it's called ink wash. And you can basically just kind of paint with it. It comes with like a little lid. So you can just pop that on like QVC models or something at the moment. <laughs> There we and go. And then you can just shove it in your pencil case and you've got water to and bring around with you. it doesn't leak, li the lids are really, really good. Yeah, I was a bit nervous to actually take it out with us, but we've done it a few times now and never had any it's never accidents. It's never That's such a brilliant red. And that's like that really cheap one. Yeah, that's <laughs> that really cheap one that we got from the, uh, the cheap, cheap art, art supply challenge. challenge. To be honest, I can't really tell the difference between these things and the Sharpies that we're using. Yeah, I mean, they're... They both really stink too. <laughs> I don't pass it here, let me have a sniff. Don't sniff it. No, this doesn't stink as much as the Sharpies do. The Sharpies <laughs> reek. Whenever I try to record myself with one hand and the other one I'm filming with, I always end up like putting it off the picture so you can't actually yeah, see what really I'm drawing can. anywhere. I mean, we've only just got a little tripod as well, but it seems a bit overkill to come to a park and bring a tripod. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Who does that? Do people do that? People that make films. Yeah, but I'm not making a film, I'm just like a lass sat on a bench. Are we a lass? <laughs> oh, I like patterns. Yeah, me too, it looked a bit too plain. You could put some little sort of like scuff strings on the bottom. Pigeons just like run past it. <laughs> I wondered what I could hear that little crunchy <laughs> leaf noise. It was this little feet going quick, 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 quick. Hey guys, you got any food? I'm gonna have him stirred in like some water, so I'm using a paper castle. <laughs> Pigeon friends walking by again. Is he? Oh, pigeon. I guess I'll try and do his little zebra nose. What? Ah, that's actually, that's all. That's come out great. Oh, it's making the ink run a little, I think. But no, but the shade. So you look more like a zebra for it. Yeah. I can't remember if the ears are a dark colour. Nah, inside. This little bit of fluff on the head is. Ooh. And I think his tail is too. I really need to erase all these pencil lines. I'm annoyed with myself. I've just started to rub out my lines and I've realised I haven't done any stripes on his head. He's only got like three on there. Put a couple in, he'll be okay. Okay. 
I guess that's next then. And these are the finished pieces and if we just quickly move these outside, Ooh. here is this week's featured image. This was sent in from Stephen Learman. I hope I'm I saying that's that right. Yeah, I think that's his name. I'm really sorry I always if we get got his that wrong. Right. <laughs> but you should totally go and check him out on social media. He's got Instagram that he's quite active on and we've put his username on the screen. Ooh. If you enjoyed the video, then give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Mm. See you again for... Another doodle day. Doodle day. Next week. I promise that I won't ink so bad. <laughs> we will, because it's Inktober. We'll probably I promise inking. we will ink so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Every week for four weeks. <laughs> See you next week for another doodle day. Doodle day. Doodle day. Bye. So here's a peek at what we're working with today. Mm -hmm. We've got um, a couple of inking pens. This is a Pentel ink brush pen, a white Posca pen. Oops, just throwing everything around. <laughs> a couple of paint brushes, a really dirty old palette that I cannot get this kind of stuff off. If you guys know any tips on how to clean paint palette properly, please teach me. <laughs>